Hello friends, welcome to DP Studio. Today we will discuss difference between Cubase and Pro Tools. We will see the side by side difference of Cubase and Pro Tools. Let's see who works faster. The interface of Pro Tools is very nice. Here is a big time counter. No sound will be heard if you turn on the metronome button in Pro Tools. I am turning on the metronome button and play the session but no sound will be heard. To hear the metronome sounds you need to create a click crack. Now you can hear the metronome sound in Pro Tools. In Cubase there is no need to create a metronome track or click track. Just turn on the metronome button and play. You can hear the metronome sound. In the Pro Tools you need to create a master fader track. When you create a session in Cubase or Nuendo, the master fader track is already here. You don't need to create any master fader track. I am importing a stereo audio file into the Pro Tools. When I imported the stereo track, it come out separated into two mono channels. Then I create a stereo track and drag the mono files into the stereo track. It is very time consuming. Into the Cubase Nuendo, I am importing a stereo audio file. And it remains as a stereo track. I need to use smart tool to cut audio clip. This is the same process into the Cubase Neuendo. I am using smart selection tool. I need to create an aux track to provide reverb. And routing the bus channel of the aux track. Then I need a reverb plugin. And send to the audio vocal channel. And into the Cubase Neuendo, you need to create a FX track and give a reverb plugin and directly send to the audio channel and no need to routing any bus channel. There is no input meter channel in Pro Tools. You should check the audio gain on the track meter. Input meters are available in Neuendo Cubase. There are many more features here like track picture, track rack, loudness meter, etc. A problem with Pro Tools when I record my vocals and take multiple vocals on the track, the previous clips are deleted. This is very problematic. If you create a playlist, the audio clip will be saved. In Cubase, I can record as many audio layers as I want and no clips are deleted. Cubase have comp tool. I can compare all of my takes and fastly selected my best takes. Pro Tools and Cubase are both very good software. In my opinion, compare of the Pro Tools and Cubase, Cubase's workflow is more faster than Pro Tools. What is your opinion? Please comment below. If you like this video, please like, comment, share and obviously subscribe for the new updates. Thank you.